beautiful comments that y'all was giving me. It touches my heart to see them and to know that I'm a blessing to people like y'all are a blessing to me and to my wonderful lady Gwendolyn. How you doing girl? I hope you're feeling better. You know I'm gonna give a shout out to you every time I feel. So let's get started with, with this banana nut bread y'all. So when you finish your breath, your, your savory casserole, then you can finish it with a slice of hot banana nut bread. Sweet, good, delicious. All right. So in this bowl, we're going to take two large overripe bananas. I know I made banana bread before, but it wasn't banana nut bread and it wasn't drizzled in caramel. So this is a different one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I know y'all wanna know, y'all probably asked the question, who is Chef Lily? Where she come from? What's she about? So me and my cameraman was talking about maybe one day doing a live session and talking a little more about me. <laughs> so you're gonna take a fork, let me discard this right here. And then wash my hands. Sweet pea. All right. So I'm going to sit down and I promise I'm going to tell y'all and promise to let y'all know who Chef Lily is now. I hope y'all be ready to, to handle this story because uh, I could write a book. <laughs> and believe me, it'll be a number one seller. Okay. So the two large bananas, we're going to mash them up with a fork in the bottom of the bowl. They gotta be overripe so they can be sweet. You can't use a fresh banana, I'm sorry. For one, you wouldn't be able to mash it like this with a fork because it'll be too hard. For two, it wouldn't be sweet. So when you get like this, that's all that sugar. That brown stuff you see, black stuff, sugar. It's the sweetest banana you can eat. It'll make you go on a sugar type. <laughs> oh my bad. Y'all know I get carried away sometimes. So when we mash that banana up good. Oh, I gotta preheat my oven. So I have everything pre-measured on the counter, y'all. We're gonna use walnuts today. All right. That's good and mashed up. So now we're gonna add one cup of white sugar, one cup of firmly packed brown, dark brown sugar, and two eggs. Two eggs. <laughs> that don't want to come out. Come on. Room temperature. Remember, everything is better room temperature. So I took my eggs out this morning, and I took my buttermilk out. I get room temperature. Everything works better when it's room temperature. All right. Let me get my. Together. Now, 
Next, we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon. A little extra won't hurt. It's nothing like good vanilla. We're gonna add six tablespoons of melted butter. Y'all know what? Be good. That was exactly six. And then we're gonna add one full cup of buttermilk. Mix that in. Mm -hmm. Smell that? Almost smell like sweet potato pie. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You know I want everything, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, in this container, we have two cups of all-purpose flour and two teaspoons of baking soda and salt already mixed up in there. And you don't want to over mix it. You just want to mix it enough the way it come together because it make your bread tough. You mix it in stages. Try four if you can. Mm -hmm. All right. That smells so good, don't Sean? Mm -hmm. You hear him back there? Y'all got y'all better listen. <laughs> I done got on him about messing up that expensive. See who said, oh, I ain't gonna let that die. <laughs> mm. Why should I? <laughs> Not, <bang. laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm about to go buy, you know, buy another. He he's gone. Ses I'm he's, gonna buy. He's gone buy. Cause I, I I want some of that again. Look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, y'all know if I don't make no mess, it ain't right. Mm -hmm. Last stage. That was four stages adding the flour, y'all. Remember, do not over mix. You just want to get it mixed up good. To where. Just jump, Judy, jump. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I'm real rested. I don't go back to work until I can go back tomorrow. Dang. I was gonna say, but that was last week <laughs> when I was off the whole week. I had to um, carry to my niece's graduation um, dinner and it was beautiful. And it's something. Well, hello, Quasimodo. <laughs> Nothing's jumping overboard. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna put these nuts in the bowl and coat it with flour so that way they won't sink to the bottom of the bread. Not the nuts on the floor. We're gonna leave them down there. No, Sean, don't eat the nuts. No. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help you. Okay. I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. I ain't nothing but a clown at heart. Y'all have to excuse me. So we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of flour on these nuts here, just a little bit. That might be a tablespoon that I put on them. And I can't really wash my hands. Oh no, let me coat these first. Then we're gonna coat them in the flour like that. So that way, when you cook them, they won't sink to the bottom. Coat them nuts. Coat them. Mm. This is everything jumping off with. <laughs> How's that work? Yeah, one day I just had everything just, and it was like, <laughs> you all right? I was like, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just chasing food. <laughs> all right. 
That do look kind of good though. What? That right there. That right here. It reminds me, you know, that right there. It reminds me of um like those uh, sugar powder sugar. Oh, candy nuts. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make some for them too. I'm gonna make that as well, one day. But wait till y'all see the uh, Father's Day menu. Y'all gonna love that menu. And for y'all fathers that are good to y'all women, oh, y'all gonna love that. Y'all be good in the meal. I'ma cook. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so we gonna pull it. <laughs> We're gonna put them nuts in there. And then we're gonna gently just fold them around inside of the banana bread mixture. It smells so good. I can't wait to taste it. Cause it's gonna be covered with caramel all over the top, y'all. Oh, that is gonna be so good. All right, I'm just gonna fold them in. Let me get my pan. Can't wait for this to come out. I'm, I'm excited about the sweet part, <laughs> this part right here. <laughs> but the casserole is good too. That's know. the best part right there. She was saying. I want all that. <laughs> I don't need nothing. That's how I be a British. You ain't gotta get all that at the bottom. I say, what? Yes, I do. That's just how I cook. All that. All that. We're gonna take a pause for the calls as I. Right. What is you <laughs> Let me see the bowl real quick. <laughs> oh, there you go. That, that's what he said, y'all. All right. So, I'm going to put this in there. I put the oven on 375. 375 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes or until you stick and it's clear. I'm gonna clean up this mess and then I'll be right with y'all in two or two. It's gonna feel midweek, midweek, Father's Day, every, you on the air. I can always edit stuff out, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> okay, we are back. So now we're gonna get on this breakfast casserole, y'all, and it's gonna be so good. So in this bowl, I cut five large red potatoes. Well, four, because he's going to fill them right here. We're going to thin slice it. Okay. Let's thin slice. Let's thin slice in this. I'm sorry. I'll get this straight like that. So this thing going to consist of Potatoes, cheese, meat, veggies. And for the vegetarians, you don't have to add the meat. You can just follow the recipe and use veggies. Let me put the potatoes in the bowl so they won't turn brown on this right there. Now, over here, I already cooked the bacon that I'm gonna put on the top of it. And here is the bacon grease that we're gonna add the potatoes. But what I wanna do is set aside a little bit of this uh, bacon grease which you call flavor grease <laughs> for this veggie part that I'm gonna cook. Ow! So a little bit of that to the side for the vegetable part. And for the vegetarians, you know what? Use your olive oil, babies. Don't use the bacon fat. Alright. That's one of the best things you could ever do. Even your food sauce. <laughs> My vegetarians, mm -hmm. they can't do it. So to them, that <laughs> to them, that's gonna taste like bacon anyway. So mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. hey, it is what it is. Okay. All right. So we got this thing here cooking on here. Now, next thing we're gonna do while that heats up. Oh, this is my vegetable scrubber, y'all. Clean my veggies with. It's just a little old scrubber. Clean your vegetables with. Okay, now. The vegetable part, we're gonna use low sodium canned spinach. Don't say good till you try it, cause you know I'ma spruce it up. But to take the canned taste off, the secret is to run it, rinse it with hot water. And we're gonna take it out of the can. 
You don't have to always use the thread. You're just gonna use what's on hand. This is what I had. And, it, and we're gonna make it do the same thing and do it for the refresh. Trust me. You know I ain't gonna never tell you nothing that ain't true. And the can of mushrooms. We don't want the juice or nothing. We're gonna rinse all both of them off together because they're gonna be cooked together. Garbage. Let me wash my hands right quick. All my hot water will like to mess You don't rinse that can taste off with the hot water. And we may not use all this, so that's quite a lot there. That can, for spinach, the shrink from a little. Can you imagine how many bags they put in that can? Because you know how it shrank down. All right. Now, why that? It's straining. We're going to take the water off the potatoes. And you can use any kind of potatoes you want. I just had red potatoes on hand. You can use Yukon Gold. You can use Russet. Whatever you got. And we're going to... Oh, it's smoking over here, y'all. We're going to add it to this. Woo! I can't. Coming through. Now, right here I have... One, I had one large onion. I used half of it and one small celery that I cut up and chopped. Right here. Here we're going to add it to the potato. Ooh, y'all should smell that. Mm -hmm. oh, I knew you were going to see some onion lover right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love it. Garlic, one clove of garlic to that. Uh, <clears throat> I want my boy crack this in. Chop it up! Oh. <laughs> Right. This thing over here really cooking. So now we're gonna see that I have some smoked paprika here. Light pepper. Maybe a teaspoon. Y'all know I I pre-measure everything and y'all know me, huh? This don't be mad, you know. <laughs> Season salt. Celery salt. And we put all that in that good old bacon, bacon grease. So this is a chi chili mom. What is that? Chili mom? Chili mom. Chili mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we're going to use some of this, y'all. There's something new in my cabinet. And that's the kind of zest up the flavor a little bit. All right. And some salt. Let's talk about a half teaspoon of salt, y'all. Let's put all this stuff in. Y'all just put some seasoning on them. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. And we're going to cook all this in stages. Everything is going to be in a one pot so we don't have no big old mess to clean up. And we want to cook these kind of halfway done because it's also going to the oven. Okay. Good. Alright, we're gonna get this chopped garlic that we chopped up over here. Put it on my knife. Mm -hmm. So, 
while these potatoes cook, I'm going to tell y'all what else goes with this breakfast chocolate. We're going to put a little, little water on it, a little steam to it. Okay. And then we're going to cut it off. And let that cook for a minute. While I bring out the other goody goodies for the pan. So, now, this pot. Dish and get my meat. We have pork sausage, regular Azar sausage. I love Azar, those are the best sausage in the world. Hey, Azar people, keep making that good sausage. And then we have some cute ham. <laughs> so it's going to be layered it's going to be potatoes, cheese, ground sausage, potato, cheese, pizza sausage. Vegetable, cheese, potatoes, cutam. Oh, wait. And then we're going to top it off with the croissants. We're going to add eggs. So you got everything you need all in that one thingy there. So what did I come to the refrigerator for? Oh, God, I guess we come back to me. Huh? <laughs> all right. So we're gonna cook the side shit first. So we're gonna take a two and two, and I'll be right back with y'all in just one minute. All right, so now we have our ground pork here that we're gonna put in the pot, and we're gonna cook it first. I did say it was gonna be a one potter, I lied. <laughs> My bad, people. I forgot I need both pans for the uh, hands. Now, while our pork is cooking, we're going to check on our bread here. Oh, look at that. Banana bread. It smells so good, y'all. Ooh. Oh yeah. oh yeah, it's done. I bet, I bet, I bet. Let's see. Yep. Clean. Oh, it's done, y'all. How about that? So we're gonna take this out. With the big hole in the middle. Look at that. I just did. <laughs> that, 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 that. Okay. That's hot. Out. We're gonna move the stove. And we're gonna keep the oven on because we have to put our casserole in. Now. That whole one get filled with some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to flip this out, y'all. Just that caramel all over the top of that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I wish I was here to taste it. Damn. Damn. All right, let's get the focus off this bread here and get back to my meat. Okay, now that large onion that I had, I used half in the potato. Now this other half is gonna go in this pork right quick. We're gonna give it a quick chop. Just a real quick little chop. I ain't overboard. <laughs> oh! Nice. What? I was finna go. I don't know where the hell I was going, but I was finna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't know what that was. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna add that to the pork sausage over here. Then we're gonna season it off a little bit with a little like pepper, I mean a little salt, and a little pepper. That's all we're gonna put on this. Down. Just like you would ground beef. Put the onion in it. Turn that up a little bit, y'all. I'm going to let that cook. Let me um, find my top. Ooh, this shit on the potato. Looking good, looking good, smelling good. Nice and pretty. I'm gonna take these home to get soft anyway, not like them rusted potatoes. Mm -hmm. While we're doing this, we're going to come back over here. And these are the cheeses we're going to use today. We're going to use extra sharp cheddar and, uh, excuse me, Monterey Jack, because I'm such a lady here. <laughs> so this is going to be layered with cheese and meat, potatoes, and gravy, and bacon, and chai. Oh, this is going to be so good. All right, so we're gonna cut, we wipe this off, we got onion on it. Real thin slices of this cheddar. get it or you can use you can cube it if you want to but I don't want to cube it I didn't want to slice it we're gonna do at least a little more than half of this block this block cheese a little more half than that and that one Y'all never forget this breakfast. Y'all wait till next week. The next breakfast on me next week. Oh, y'all gonna love that one. Isn't they Sean? Yeah. Aren't they Sean? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> but for Father's Day, y'all gonna love that menu. Really, y'all really are. So I'm, I'm saying again to y'all fathers out there that got y'all better have. Y'all better be good. <laughs> if y'all wanna have that delicious meal. Oh, to one of my fans that wanted to know, zoom in on that air fryer, Sean, for them. So they wanted to know what kind it was. Let me wipe it off so they can see it. They see it? Can you see it? Professional cities. Okay. And my shout out to Janice. How you doing, Janice girl? I wish you was here with me so you can eat some of this good food and have a glass of nice wine with you, girl. Oh, and to my other fan, you know who you are and you know what it be. So I'm going to give a shout out to you, my fan from the store. I'm inviting you to follow day dinner, June the 20th, and dinner will be served at 6, and I would like for you to be here. So if you watch this cooking video, you know where to be. <laughs> One, two, nine. That's all I need to say because you know the rest. <laughs> all right. Cut up some of this 
white cheese here. But one day I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna let y'all know who Chef Lily is. And I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be y'all gonna be like, whoa, wow, really? Yeah. Because I seen things in life and been places in life and did things in life that I shouldn't have seen young. Because my daddy was a pimp. <laughs> in the 70s. When black people first got high and free. Yeah. And my mama was actually going to Stanton High School in the ninth grade when she married my father. So, and that's a story that I could tell y'all and I think y'all would enjoy that whole storyline. Okay. Look at that cheese over there. We need some more, we'll cut some more. Let's go back over here and check on our meat. Fuck it, that's hot. Mm -mm. And I dropped a fork now and now. We have our bacon over here that goes on the top. We cooked that first because we needed the good stuff to cook the potatoes in. Okay. Now in the three to five minutes up for the potatoes. What I'm gonna do is we're going to get this pan here. We're going to put some potatoes in here for surface area so it can cool off a little for me, the handle, when we go to layer out. All right, limited room. <laughs> and the mushroom that we rinsed earlier that was in the can. I took it with the reserved bacon grease, a little olive oil and some butter, chopped up one fourth of that onion that was left from the large onion and one clove of garlic and I cooked it. Cooked it off. And it's pan. So now we're gonna put it in the bowl because we need the pan. Because we're gonna make something like a cream spinach, y'all. Okay? So we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna make the sauce that it's, that it's gonna go back in. And it's gonna be so good. Here. All right. We're gonna add some butter to the hot pan. I That's probably two tablespoons. We're moderate, but that's not butter. I'm sorry. We're <laughs> moderate. We're gonna get our whisk and our milk. So y'all know I always told y'all it's one tablespoon of flour to one cup of milk. So, where is my measuring cup? I got glasses on and still can't see. What's up with that, y'all? Here go one. Which one, that one right there? Nope, that's my coffee. That's my coffee cup. Oh. That's the measurement for my ground espresso coffee, y'all. Oh, okay, okay. Take a little tablespoon of flour and 
add to that. Turn it down because I don't want it to turn brown. I'm not making gravy. You want to keep it white and good. One tablespoon. Two. Okay. Parmesan cheese, we're going to use a fourth cup of creme fraiche, and then we're going to use a roasted garlic sauce. So instead of me roasting garlic this time, I had this on hand. Yay. This stuff is so good, y'all. Y'all would love this stuff. Try it. Hellman's, you can't, you can't, can't go wrong. They got all different flavors. I like it. Barbecue kind. The lime and some mantra kind for the tacos. Right, I already added my two cups of milk to my flour. Okay. So now we're gonna add two ounces of the cream cheese. You know, it's got a measurement on the side there. We're gonna add cream cheese. I mean, dog. I mean, darn. <laughs> no, not on my dress. I don't think you got on the dress. Yes, it did. Oh, no. Yes, it did, Sean. It did, it did. Cream cheese in there. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of creme fresh. One. Remember, y'all get the cream fresh off the Mexican aisle in the store. Or the whatever they call that. <laughs> the creme fresh. Yeah. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of sour cream. You make it like a cream finish, in other words, people. My 
my version of Queen's Spanish. You know, my mind be different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna add just about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> and do all of all holla, Papa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get this. Oh goodness. Ooh, that looks so good. Mix all that in and we got spinach dip. Yeah. Oh, you need the artichokes and all of that stuff to put in it. Yeah. Actually, you have to put that in. You could even just put spinach dip. So I'm gonna rinse off a spoon and let my cameraman taste this and then I'm gonna clean up and when I come back, we're gonna build this up. Wait a minute, before we go out there, let him taste it. I want him to hear, hear what he say and I know we're on our way. Let's see. Hot, hot, hot. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh dang, did y'all hear that? Okay y'all, we gonna I'm gonna clean up. And then when we come back, we're going to build this breakfast casserole. See y'all back in two and two. Can never have too much roasted garlic. Mm -hmm. This stuff's so good. It's so good on steak. Oh, my God. We on there. Uh, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> okay, y'all. The roasted garlic. I told y'all we're going to put it like a tablespoon in there. That's a good tablespoon. We're going to mix it around. And that cream spinach there. Listen, that, listen, that, listen, that, Sean. Y'all hear that? <laughs> That's sad. Okay. Now we're gonna build this casserole. I'm gonna bring everything. Thank you. Over here. And the cheese. The fur cheeses. Yeah, the cheeses. Oh. My orange. 
and my wife, Margarita Cheese. We just gonna bring everything. Y'all, we need some more room around here. <laughs> okay. Excuse it, y'all. Just, just bear with me. Hell, just bear with me. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take some meat, some potatoes. Wait, let me spray that. Let me spray that first. We want, we want, we want everything to come out easy. There we go. All right. But hey, that top do not like being. It does not. <laughs> All right. We're gonna take some of my potatoes. We're gonna lay it in the bottom. It's something about this Florida weather. They would do it to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gonna lay some cheese in the? I mean, some potatoes in the bottom. I'm gonna put the cheese on it already, y'all. Mm -hmm. Put some potatoes in there. One more, and that'll be good. Okay. So we have potatoes. Then we're gonna put cheese. Oh, 
mushroom, spinach, green sauce. Can't go wrong with it. Listen, y'all gonna be so mad. When we was filming layering this casserole, the phone decided to kick it out. So I gotta sit here and tell y'all step by step on how I did this. So before I do that, here's the end result of the breakfast casserole. We're gonna put some butter on that. Spread it around. And then I'm gonna show y'all, tell y'all how. I did this since the phone kicked it all out. I am so sorry, y'all. I just told the cameraman, me and him gonna fight by that phone. <laughs> okay. You know, that top I'll definitely figure it out. Okay. Now, what I did was look at me when I'm talking to y'all. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I took potato. When we did the potatoes, I put potatoes at the bottom. That's one. Cheese. Mm -hmm. The white and the orange together. A little, put some orange and then some white cheese. Mm -hmm. The cheddar cheese, rather. And then we put the pork sausage first. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then we had another layer of potatoes, cheese. And then we put the Azar sausage on there. Mm -hmm. Then we put another layer of potatoes. And then we put the vegetable spinach mix on that with cheese. And then we had our last layer of potatoes. We put cheese and the cubed ham. And then we took some croissants, butter flavored croissant, and put it over the top and baked it. That's all that is, butter, is a butter croissant. So you got your cheese, your bread, your meat. Oh, and four, and then I, I cracked four eggs, scrambled it, poured it over the casserole. Then I put the croissant on croissant. top. Okay. So layer of potato, meat, cheese, potato, meat cheese, potatoes, veggie, cheese, potato, ham, cheese, scrape four eggs, scramble, pour over the whole casserole, and then add your bread on top. And then you bake it till the bread gets done because everything is pre-cooked. The only thing we want to do is make the bread cook and the cheese and melt. But my cameraman is going to make a note on there for y'all because he did it. Okay, now here's our banana bread. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's drizzle. So we're gonna drizzle caramel across the top of that. Ooh, going all off the pan, ain't it? Yeah. That's that banana nut bread, y'all, with caramel. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now, hot. Okay. So now we're gonna cut this casserole. And we're going to take it out. And we're going to let the cameraman do his thing. So when I pull it out, y'all will see what I'm talking about with the layers. Once I pull it out with the spatula. You're going to cut that like you would a lasagna. Then we need a good spatula to go in there and get it up. Caramel everywhere. All right, let's get a plate. The cameraman can do his taste testing for ya. Y'all know the first piece is always the hardest one to get out. I don't think that's gonna be hard to get out at no, all. Not at all. I'm listening to it. Yeah. Sit at the bottom of the plate. <laughs> all right. Let's oh, see. Yes, that's gonna look so look good. Look at that. Oh. Y'all see that? That layer. See what I say? It's all the meat, the veggies, the cheese, and the bread, the egg, all that good stuff. All right, camera man, here you go, it's hot. Look at that. Show them that, make sure you let them see that, see that thing now, ooh, look at that, y'all, it's so pretty. Y'all gonna enjoy that. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at it in here. Look at that. All them layers of good stuff. Boy, look at that. Oh. All right, cameraman, let's get a taste. Well, you want me to break the first piece so you can say, mm, hold the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dang. Hey, come on, where you going? I don't know, it's running. It's running. That's good. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Goodness. All right, now let's cut out banana mm. nut bread here. He ready to eat, y'all. Let me see what this look like. Oh, look, look at that. That look like y'all yeah, for real. Look at that. See the paint, the nuts didn't fall to the bottom. See that? It's mm -hmm. all through the bread. All right, cameraman. Open. Mm hmm. Mm. Mmm, that tastes like real banana bread right there. Mmm, tastes like real banana bread right mm -hmm. there. Let's see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness, that's cool. Oh man, it's it's so nice and moist, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There we go. So we have our banana nut bread, our breakfast tacos. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So on that note. Thanks for joining in, tuning in, looking, watching, loving. Mm -hmm. So this has been Cooking in the Hood with Chef Lady. Remember, support family, Cooking with Tip, the Four Horns, and Leah Love. And also me, starring Chef in the Hood, Cooking with Chef Lady, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so until next time, remember, food is from God to the heart for the soul, food to feed the soul. Until next week, y'all, love y'all. Peace. Listen, listen. Oh, no, no.